SCP-929 Object Class Euclid. SCP-929 is an entity of varying height, weight, and species, as it possesses the ability to rapidly change its appearance and biology to match those of any other species. Upon entering an area of three meters around an animal organism, SCP-929 will designate said organism as its parent and rapidly transform. SCP-929 will always take the form of a younger member of the organism's species and will remain in this form until either the parent organism is killed or hostilities are engaged against SCP-929. On engagement of hostilities, SCP-929's face and cranium will split and open outwards. A number of tendrils that appear to be similar in composition to imitated organs will emerge from within the created gap. Using these, SCP-929 will remove hostiles via a combination of throttling, brute force, and lashing. After hostiles are killed or otherwise removed, SCP-929 will seek out a new parent organism. SCP-929 exerts a psychic influence over those designated as its parent organism. The parent will believe that SCP-929 is their offspring and recall highly detailed memories regarding SCP-929's presence. A diminished version of this effect is also exerted on those surrounding SCP-929, causing a general sense that SCP-929 is the genuine offspring of the parent organism. This diminished effect, however, can be overcome with minor concentration and foreknowledge of SCP-929's nature. Incident 929-1 On SCP-929, Object Class Euclid SCP-929 is an entity of varying height, weight, and species, as it possesses the ability to rapidly change its appearance and biology to match those of any other species. Upon entering an area of three meters around an animal organism, SCP-929 will designate said organism as its parent and rapidly transform. SCP-929 will always take the form of a younger member of the organism's species and will remain in this form until either the parent organism is killed or hostilities are engaged against SCP-929. On engagement of hostilities, SCP-929's parent organism attacked research personnel during feeding in a manner not consistent with previous behavior. During the incident, SCP-929 attempted to breach containment, resulting in the deaths of two security personnel and the injury of Dr. Parent organisms and containment procedures have been altered to make SCP-929 more manageable. SCP-929 exerts SCP-929 is currently kept in the form of a young Carassius auratus auratus, the domestic goldfish, to minimize difficulties in containment. SCP-929 is to be contained in a 3 meter by 3 meter glass tank with the goldfish it has designated as its parent. The central tank is to be surrounded by four smaller tanks, each containing one goldfish. In the event that the parent goldfish expire, SCP-929 will designate one of the surrounding goldfish as its new parent instead of supervising research staff. SCP-929 is to be fed as described in nutritional chart 929-2 at least twice a day. No threatening movements are to be made against SCP-929. Tapping of glass, shaking of tank, etc. Weight and species as it possesses the ability to rapidly change its appearance and biology to match those of any other species. Upon entering an area of three meters around an animal organism, SCP-929 will designate said organism as its parent and rapidly transform. SCP-929 will always take the form of a younger member of the organism's species and will remain 